it's not just central bankers who are concerned about falling oil prices, but also oil producers. And that's creating a divide among members of OPEC, the global cartel. Jackie DeAngelis has more. Oil prices continue to slide on concerns about global growth and a market that's well supplied. But in recent weeks, many have been questioning how low oil can go before producers are squeezed. The thought was that OPEC might make a move to reduce its supply to the market to bolster prices when it meets next month. But the chatter out of conversations this weekend after Venezuela called for an emergency meeting indicates that the cartel isn't making any rash decisions. Middle Eastern OPEC members have a high cost to produce, many in the triple digits. And with the price below $90 a barrel, some are already feeling the pinch. But according to reports, Saudi Arabia, one of OPEC's most outspoken members, is aggressively courting new customers in Europe and is comfortable with the drop in prices. What it signifies to me and other traders on the floor is that Saudi Arabia is taking a uh, every member for himself mentality. In other words, we don't really care about what we're producing. What we do care is our market share, and we want to keep it. And it also signifies to me that they have very little control or no control over all the non-OPEC oil that's being produced around the world. Traders tell me there's no need to panic at the moment. They recall when crude prices dropped from 140 to 33 in 2008 because of market uncertainty and dollar fluctuations. They say break-even prices were equally as high then and we're a long way from 33 right now. But still, some look to crude pricing as a leading indicator of the overall economy. Crude's fall could mean worse things to come for the stock market, which has already been jittery. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jackie DeAngelis.